Uh, what's up guys, it's Buster Roni, and um, I thought that I'd start making a couple videos again maybe. So um, for the, my first video back, I'm going to make a programming tutorial to make a, um, a Reddit bot. So um, I've been making a bunch of Reddit bots over the past couple of um, years, and I thought I'd just uh, make a little tutorial for uh, how to get started on making Reddit bots. So we're going to be using something called Pra, which is a wrapper for using the Reddit API. And um, pretty much it makes it um, easier to interact with Reddit. So um, we're going to make a bot that um, I think is going to respond with a picture of a dog whenever anyone um, mentions dog in a comment in a certain subreddit. So um, to get started, we're going to write this bot in Python, which is what Pro uses. So um, we're going to import Pro. And um, you, you should have Pro installed. If you don't know how to, you can Google it. It's really not that bad. Um, I personally use something called pip to install it. Um, I'll, I'll just do it right now. Just um, if you don't have this pip installed, it's easy to figure out from Google. Um, and I, mine's already installed, so it's going to tell me that. But um, yeah, so you should have t you, you install it in terminal. So you're going to import pro, um, and I'm just going to save this file in desktop YouTube bot. I'm going to call it bot.py, or I'll call it Reddit bot. Oh, to be more clear. Um, and then um, I'm going to go create an app in Reddit. And this is something you need to do so that your, um, your script works. So you're going to go to reddit.com, prefs, apps. Um, you're going to create an app. It's going to be a script because it's just something that we're personally using. It's not going to be used by anyone else. We're going to call it dog posting test or dog comment test. Um, you don't need any of this. For redirect, we're going to do localhost. Um, it's not really important. You don't really need it. It's just a really a placeholder. Um, and you're going to create the app. And then you'll get a API key and a secret key. And we're going to need both of those. So we're going to make a new file called config.py. And I'm going to save it in the same spot. And then we're just going to use our, uh, our details now. So I'm going to create a username equals Busteroni test password equals, and then your password. Um, you're going to do um, next one is client ID, and then it's going to be the thing right here. Client secret is the thing right here. And then user agent, and that's just going to, actually, we'll, we'll do it in the other file. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in. So I'm going to do, the way you log in with pro is you do pro.reddit. And we're going to do username equals, and we're going to do our username. The way we're going to do our username, we're going to import it from the config file. So first time I import config, I'm going to say config.username. And that's really just getting my username from the config file. And then I'm going to say password is equal to config.password. Client ID is equal to config.client ID. Client secret is equal to config.client secret. And finally, there's going to be another one called user agent. And that's just something that Reddit uses to identify who you are. So I'm just going to say um, Busteroni tests um, dog comment responder v0.1. And um, yeah, so that's what you need to log in. Um, and I'm just going to run this to make sure it works right. So what you do to run it is you go to CD, which changes your directory. And I'm going to go to my directory. Um, it's bot. And then you can type ls to see the files. You'll see them all right here. And the way you run it is you type in python reddit bot.py. And if everything went right, nothing should happen. You're going to get logged in, but not, there, there'll be no errors. And if you have an error, you can try Googling it, or you can try posting it in the comments, and I'll try to respond. So um, we're basically logged into Reddit now. So I'm going to put this in something called a method, which is a way to kind of organize your code so you can do things um, like uh, repeatedly, but you don't have to write the same code a number of times. And I'm going to call it bot login. And it won't take any parameters. And I'll talk about parameters later. But um, so Reddit, or I mean, Python works on an um, indentation system. So um, if you might know Java or a different language, um, it's pretty much a method is defined by using like, um, brackets, and then everything inside of the brackets is what the code is executed. In Python, we use indentation. So I'm indenting one line, and then this is really all the same code. It's just um, 
separate lines to make it easier to visualize. And then um, I'm going to call in the main code bot login. And you're going to see nothing will really change. I'm still getting logged in. Um, we're going to make another method that's actually going to do our stuff now. I'm going to call it run bot. And um, now we have to get into um, parameters. So the thing is, um, in order to comment, I need to use the, the instance of, of Reddit. I know it's a little confusing right now, but um, hopefully it'll make sense in the long run. So I'm going to set a variable called r equal to this login. And I'm going to return it. And then now, I'm, when I call, I'm going to say r is equal to bot login, which pretty much means that the variable r over here is equal to whatever bot login the function returns. So let's run through the code right here. I'm going to delete this to be less confusing. I call r equals bot login. I come up here. I log in and I return r. So now r is equal to whatever bot login returns. So now I'm going to create a new method called run bot. And that's going to take a parameter. That parameter will be r, which will be the Reddit login instance. And um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to pretty much start writing the real core of the bot. I'm going to loop through every single comment made in a certain subreddit. The way we do that, at first we have to do the for loop. A for loop is a way to do something a repeated number of times. Um, so you pretty much you're looping. It's, it's in the name. We're going to say for comment. And this could be called anything. It could be comment. It could be test. It could be anything. It just comments an easy way to um, know what it is in r.subreddit. So now we're getting the subreddit of whatever we want. I'm going to do test. And there's no slash r here. It's just the name of the subreddit. Um, dot comments. There should be a space there. And we're going to set the limit equal to 25 so we're not doing too many comments at once. And then, like I said, um, it's based on it, uh, indentation. So now we're indenting because um, we're, it's, whatever is being looped is, should be inside indentation. And now, um, the way that we see if um, a certain string is inside of another string in Python, we can do if um, dog in comment.body. So comment.body is whatever the comment says. It's the body of the comment. And dog is the string we're looking for. So if there is mention of dog in comment body, um, just to test this, I'm going to print out um, test. Or I'm going to say um, string found. And um, I'm going to run it. And there's going to be a problem here, and I'll explain why. So nothing really happens. That's because we have not called run bot yet. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to call run bot r. And I'm going to run it. And again, nothing changed. So in order to fix that, it's because it's actually working fine. It's just that no comment in the last 25 in test said dog. So I'm going to make a new test post. Um, test. And I'm going to comment. Um, just something that's not dog, just to make sure it works. Test one two three one two three, and then if we run this, nothing will happen again. If we make a comment, hello, one two three, dog, hello, um, it's now going to hopefully work. String found, great. So we know it's working. So now we got to work on replying to this comment. Really, replying to a comment is super easy. You can just do um, comment dot reply. Really, it's all you have to do. And then whatever you want to reply with, a string. So I'm going to say, um, I also love dogs. And um, to make it more fun, I guess, uh, we can add a, um, I guess we'll go to imager. Um, actually, we'll just do it from here. I'm more of a dog guy than a cat guy. So we'll find a dog comment from imager. Here we go. Cute puppy with gorgeous eyes. OK. And we're going to put a link to it. I also love dogs. Here is an image of one. And then um, pretty much this is just Reddit. This is a way to post a, uh, with Markdown, a, a link. So this is the text we're going to see, and this is what we'll link to. And um, that is, so let's, let's run it, and let's see if it works. So again, it's a string found, and let's, let's see if it worked. It worked. I replied to myself. And the image works, and everything worked just as we expected. So um, 
you really, let's, let's add some things to make it a little easier to follow. We're going to say print logging in. And then we're going to say print logged in. And um, if it fails to log in, you'll get an error. And then um, I can try to help you fix that. You should make sure that your internet's working correctly. Um, here I'm going to say print um, obtaining 25 comments. And I'm going to say string with dog found. And I want to cover dog in quotation marks, so I know it's literally the string dog. The problem with that is that right here, it will stop printing. And if I try to run this, I'll get an error. Invalid syntax. Because right here, it thinks the string is ending. The way we do this to fix it is we escape the quotation marks by doing a backward slash. Um, so um, if we do it now, it's going to work correctly. And I'm gonna, right over here, I'm going to say replied to comments. Um, and then we're going to add the ID to know what comment we're replying to. Yeah, right here I'm going to say string with dog found in comments. And then the way we get the ID is we just we can um, concatenate two strings. We're doing a plus, which means to combine the two strings. Found in comment dot ID. And I'm going to say reply to comments, comment dot ID. And um, if we run it now, it's going to log in, logged in, obtained comments. And then um, actually, Funny enough, it replied to um, our other comment, so we actually replied twice. So um, in a future version, we'll make sure we don't reply to our own comments, that we don't reply to comments more than once. But um, this is just a very rudimentary version to start. And um, this is all great. Everything's working fine. But the only problem is that this, we have to run the script every single time we want to reply to comments, and that's not really efficient. We want to reply to comments automatically. So we're going to do something called a while loop, and we're going to keep it running pretty much um, forever. So we're going to do while true. And then um, that is a while loop that runs forever. And let's run it. And let's, there's going to be a problem here. I'm going to stop running it almost immediately. But we're going to see. So I just stopped the program. But um, pretty much it replied to comments very, very fast. Because it was running ve like all the time, pretty much. It kept running and running and running. And this is kind of a funny lot of comments. but. Um, what we need to do is we need to time it so it doesn't keep running. So I'm going to import time. I'm going to say, um, after every single time it obtains comments, I'm going to sleep. So I'm going to do time.sleep, um, and then it's the number of seconds. So we're going to sleep for 10 seconds. And I'm going to add a comment just so I know what's happening. A comment, um, you can do it by starting with a pound sign. I'm going to say, sleep for 10 seconds. And I'm also going to print out so we know we're sleeping. Print sleeping for 10 seconds. Yeah, and um, this is pretty much the entire bot. Um, obviously, it's not optimal right now because of um, we still are replying to comments over and over and over again. But the um, the idea of the bot works, and um, yeah, um, I hope you check out the next tutorial where I'm going to add some new features and I'm going to make sure this mess doesn't happen, even though it looks kind of funny. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and um, I hope you watch the next one.